besides the currency and housing problems, the country is also trying to control inflation. And that's being blamed in part on the country's default on nearly $100 billion worth of bonds. I spoke to Robert Shapiro, co-chairman of the American Task Force Argentina, a group that focused on the country's 2001 debt default. He detailed the current restructuring and what's happening right now. They defaulted on $80 billion in bonds in 2001. Their restructuring offer was rejected by a lot of investors. And then they uh, tried to nullify the bonds of those who had rejected it, repudiate those bonds. You can't do that. They have legal contracts to respect those bonds. And that's what this case has been about. There's a group that agreed to the default. There's a group that agreed yes. to not default. And you're, what they're saying is that both groups should be treated the same. The, there's a group that agreed to accept the restructuring after the default and a group which refused the restructuring right. offer. And the courts are saying you have to treat them ev evenly. The, and that means they'd have to finally pay off the people who had rejected so the offer. So this legal mess, yes. for lack of a better word. It is a mess. It's a couple billion dollars. And look, yes. in the bigger picture, it's not that much money. But it's Correct. having an impact on Argentina's ability yes. to access the capital market. Um, that has an impact on the economy. Explain to us what does that mean for the people of Argentina? Well, what it's meant is that um, the Argentine government has had to raise all its money at home. To do that, they got banks to buy the bonds that they couldn't sell in international markets by expanding the reserves of those banks. And the result of that has been the world's highest inflation. Inflation is running at 22 to 24 percent. That Argentina. doesn't sound good if this continues on it's in, the, in the years. It's very bad. <laughs> what, what, what happens? What's the, what's the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario would be a second default and the collapse of the Argentine banking system. That would be the worst scenario. Okay. We hope we can avoid that. Is all Argentina has to do, in effect, is say, okay, we're going to pay these holdouts what, they, what they're asking for. And all of this goes away. But, but the uh, President Kirchner and or Fernandez Kirchner, and her predecessor, her now late husband, Nestor Kirchner, they believed that standing up to the New York investors um, was good politics for them. Their economic advisors for 10 years have been saying, settle this, put this behind you, because it's had other effects. Foreign direct investment fell by 2 thirds because the government couldn't be treat, trusted to keep its word. The value of the peso, the Argentine peso, has declined. Again, because the outlook for Argentina looks quite bad. Um, that leads to, you mentioned one thing that's very uh, near and dear to everyone that's watching. It's easy to understand, the inflation issue. Things are yeah. costing more money. That's bad for the people, whether you're renting, you're owning, the rich, yes. the poor. It doesn't matter who you are. It affects you. The economy in itself is not that great either. Correct. How's the government going to solve this? The only way the government can solve it is to say to the holdouts, you win. We're going to respect the judgments of the New York court. We're going to pay the money. Probably initially it would cost them $1.3 billion. That is not, they could raise five times and that. And that's the best way in, to solve the inflation problem. Well, that's, getting this behind that's them. necessary to solve the inflation problem because otherwise, uh, because it, if they did that, they could raise money in foreign markets and they wouldn't have to inflate the bank reserves. But ultimately, what they're going to have to do to uh, also address the inflation problem is what every government does when there's inflation. You have to slow the economy. You have to raise interest rates. You push yourself into, a, into close to or a recession till the economy cools off. 